guys, what's going on? Let's talk about how to protect yourself from the downside of a Google update, which I believe, and I've ha I have another video that I talk about the ugly truths, the downsides of rank and rent, which I, nobody wants to talk about. Everybody just wants to talk about rainbows and Skittles and it's good, 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 good. And as I talk about in that video, any opportunity, investment, business, anything like that, that is only upside is a scam. And if there's no downside, there can be no upside. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So the, the number one thing that I believe in, I share this in that video, the number one ugly truth truth is that what happens if Google doesn't update? What if they come in, they do some crazy penguin, parrot, elephant, zebra, whatever they decide to name it, update, and it wipes all of your organic rankings. All this hard work that you've spent all these years doing, you've invested time and money into, what happens? Well, uh, you're screwed. I mean, if it affects your sites, there's not much else to say other than you're screwed. And so, the question is then, well, if that's the case, why are you still doing it, Nick? Why are you still so excited and bullish on rank and rent as an opportunity? And I still believe, and I still tr trudge forward and move forward and push forward that this is the best business model on the internet. And there are things that I'm doing to protect myself against all of these downsides, against these ugly truths as I call them. And so what I wanna share with you today is how I'm protecting myself against the potential for an update, okay? There are two things. Well, the first one I just want, this shouldn't even need to be said, but I'm going to say it. The first thing that I'm doing to protect myself and to, to, to mitigate my risk against that happening is I'm doing good, clean SEO, okay? I'm not doing black hat techniques. I'm not doing, uh, you know, shady PBNs and, 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 you know, just you guys, if you're watching this video, if you want to go and look up black hat techniques, they're out there, okay? And yes, some of them still work and some of them will get you to page one quickly. But the question is, is it worth the risk of getting there quickly and having a high risk of getting blacklisted or sandboxed or put on the naughty list as I've heard some people refer to it as. To me, it's not. I'm trying to build a big business. I'm trying to build an empire here. And so number one, I just wanna say, and this should go without saying, do clean SEO. Don't shortcut. Do stuff straight up the way, as, as by the books as you possibly can and that is a very good way to just ensure that you're not going to be hit in a wave of updates. Okay. That's number one. Number two is a little bit different. And I need you guys to follow my, I'm going to explain, I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to explain the math. I'm going to explain how this works, but the number one way that that's something that I'm doing that kind of should be without saying, but I'm going to say it, but the biggest thing that I'm doing to protect myself against that happening and just, you know, losing my shorts on the deal is I am making sure that I pre-sell all of my websites, okay? What I mean by that is I am going out and I'm getting somebody to put a card on file and I am building the website on their dime and I'm using Google ads to generate the leads until the site ranks. Now, I talk about this a lot, okay? Now, there's tons of reasons why this is the, the only thing that I do and, and I call it renting and then ranking, but I wanna share the math behind it and the thinking behind it, okay? Um, when you do this, when you, when you pre-sell, it forces you to build in the cost of ads. And I always build in the cost of $20 at the minimum, sorry, 20, not, not necessarily the minimum, but I build in on every deal, $20 per day of ad cost. Okay. So for example, um, if I go out and I do a deal and I have a, a, a somebody that wants leads for duct cleaning, right? I look at it and I go, okay, what am I going to charge? Well, I can't charge $600 a month because if I do and I'm spending 20 bucks a day on ads, I'm actually gonna be losing money, right? Because I'm building the cost into it. So I know for me, I can't charge anything less than $1,000 because I still want from day one to be making a profit. And so all of my deals have that built in. I still make sure that I have at least a 30 to 40% profit margin from day one. That's if the site never ranks. That's if we only get leads from ads, okay? But why the heck does this matter? Well, my game is still to rank the website. So I get the deal and, excuse my other computer here, I get the deal and then I keep the leads going, I keep the ads going, keep the client happy. But then I take the money from that and I build the website and I do the SEO and the GMB and I do everything the way that I wanna do it, which I wanna build the asset and rank the asset, right? And yes, the goal is I get the website ranked, the organic traffic picks up, it, it surpasses the paid traffic 
and I'm able to lower the paid traffic down to basically nothing, which gives me that additional margin of, and honestly, there's some of these sites, you, you will make 90, 95, percent margin, 97% margin. Well, not quite. You'll have your Stripe fee and maybe some uh, some hosting costs, but let's call it 93, 95% margin. No kidding, okay? But here's the deal. Because all of my properties have that built-in cost, it means that I don't charge, uh, I don't undercharge. I don't um, undersell, okay? Meaning I don't charge uh, too little. And so it, it builds that cost into the deal. So what happens is, Let's say that all my sites rank and I'm able to capture another 30% or 40% profit margin across the boards, across 10 websites. That's, that's wonderful. Okay. That's great. And that's the goal, but I don't care. I, I do care, but I, I don't worry because if Google comes in tomorrow and they go ahead and wipe all my rankings out, okay. Some update they do wipes them out and I have zero organic traffic. I am still going to be profitable because I was profitable from day one with the ad cost. Does that make sense? So I may not be making $800 uh, of profit or $900 of profit, but I'm still gonna be making 400 because I'm just gonna kick on the ads and we're gonna go back to business, okay? Because I already have those set up, I already have that cost built in and we're good to go. And so the way that I would have you think about this is like, it's like a real estate deal, right? If you guys are into real estate or, or have thought about real estate or analyze deals for real estate, when you're analyzing a deal, a very dangerous way to do it is to look at best case scenarios. And if the deal doesn't make sense on best case scenarios, it's very scary. And if it barely makes sense at best case scenario, you should stay away from it. You wanna look at a deal under worst case scenarios. And if it still makes sense there, then you can proceed. And so one of the things is they tell you to do is they tell you to build they tell you to build in what's called capex okay capital expenditures things like you know your roof these big capital expenditures that you are going to have to do but don't necessarily happen immediately or right away right and so the way that i view the ads is it's kind of like your capital expenditures you need to build that cost in and think what if nothing else hit what if i didn't have organic rankings or google my business or whatever they call it now google business profile i don't know it's changing so often i have no idea what if those things all went away and if you can answer and say you know what i'd still be making a 30 to 40 percent profit margin because i charged x charge a thousand bucks and my ads are only going to be 600 i'm still going to make 350 400 bucks then that is a deal that's worth taking okay so the best way to protect yourself from the downside of a potential google update is build in into the deal the price that you charge and the way that you sell it build in the cost of ads okay very very simple and make sure that even with the cost of ads at $20 per day at the minimum, and you have to make sure that you're, that the niches you're going into and the cities you're going into have a specific CPC. Um, and if you have no idea what that means, then it's cost per click. I'm not gonna go, out in this, go into that in this video, but I have other videos to talk about that. Anyway, long story short, build in the cost of ads and have it set up so that if your organic rankings go away tomorrow, you are still going to be profitable.